What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I would like to explain to you guys the difference between Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, which is a game that I've been streaming a lot in the past uh, in my stream, and Hearthstone, which is really sort of its mother game. There's a lot of things in Plants vs. Zombies that were based off of Hearthstone. They're very similar games actually. I'm going to explain a little bit what are the similarities and differences between them. I'm also going to be explaining which one is more free to play for people who are interested in a free to play game. Uh, both of them have different aspects that make them more free to play. I'll be going through that. And uh, just a little bit of, you know, how each game works. Uh, so for those of you who watch the channel and have uh, watched Plant for Zombies Heroes and you don't know much about Hearthstone, uh, you'll see a little bit uh, in terms of just how it basically works. It's actually very simple. And uh, for you Hearthstone players out there, if you want to try a similar game, there is a game called Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, uh, made by PopCap. And uh, it's, it's a very similar game, and it's nice if you want to branch out to a different trading card game. So they're both trading card games, which means they have cards. I'm going to uh, start off a little bit with the cards in Hearthstone. And for that, we are going to magically fade to here. So again, the cards are very similar. You know, they always have a cost. Um, an attack the value the cost would be the amount in the hearthstone in the upper left corner over here These ones cost one these are gonna cost two and then they have an attack value and a health value and of course They the, the attack value is how much damage they'll either do to your opponent's face to their hero uh, Or to another minion and this is how much health which is how much damage they can take Let's say this has one attack one health and it has an ability battle cry means when you play it onto the field It'll deal one damage you can deal one damage wherever you want uh, to any minion um, this will just be a one cost two attack and one health etc etc so obviously there's a lot of very complicated cards uh, in Hearthstone uh, I'm gonna maybe show you a deck that I've put together a little bit with just sort of the basic cards and it's just like every other card trading card game you start off with the basics and the tutorial of Hearthstone uh, is very very good uh, so you just kind of go through the tutorial and you learn slowly but surely what all the different cards do uh, maybe one thing I can explain is this uh, this minion over here it says taunt Taunt means, uh, taunt means that uh, a minion, if this is on the field, this is the only one that can be attacked. Only taunt minions can be attacked, and then you can go through and attack your opponent's face. I would say the main difference between Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and Hearthstone uh, is the fact that in Hearthstone there's no lanes. In Plants vs. Zombies Heroes you have five lanes, and every single minion you put in those lanes are only going to attack there. Hearthstone is just an open field, and uh, why not? I'm just going to actually just show you... Uh, an example, we're going to go into the single player and I'll show you with a deck that I have built. Alright, so we are the mage on the bottom and this is our opponent is the hunt, is the uh, the warrior on the top. And, you know, each, each basically every, you know, every single hero uh, in Hearthstone has, a, you know, basically available to them uh, an entire neutral set. You can see like the gray, kind of grayish background of these cards. Uh, really means it's part of the neutral set and then the blue background in these means it's the ones that only mage can do and those are mostly the spells which are the same as tricks uh, we're gonna hold on to you mulligan at the beginning you actually mulligan all of them at the same time we'll keep this this is a two drop uh, it's again a two cost three two it's very good also battle cries destroy your opponent's weapon and warriors sometimes have weapons uh, so we'll hold on to that and we will get it going here um, so one of the main differences, I think I'll actually talk about this first, between Hearthstone and Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. In Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, the turns are really intertwined. First the zombies play their minions, then the plants play all their cards, then the zombies play their tricks or spells. Um, in Hearthstone you just take turns. So I went first, I have nothing that costs one, nothing to do, so I'm going to end my turn. And uh, the person who goes second... Um, basically, uh, we'll draw, we'll actually get an extra card, a little advantage. Since you're at a disadvantage for going second, he actually drew a card. So you can see down here again, this is the amount of mana that I have. It says I have two out of two left. This is the same as the brains or the sun and plants versus zombies heroes. Um, and I'm just going to play this card cost two. It's three attack, two health. And it also is your spells cost one less. It's like the teacher, which we like to use. Uh, so play that on the field. Things cannot attack their first turn, so you'll see the next turn, you see it's a little sleeping, so we will be able to attack with this the next turn. He plays a two-cost card. Summon a... this one had a battle cry of summon a little Murloc Scout, so this is 2-1 and it summons this little 1-1 one, one Scout. Pretty cool. Um, so now what we do, instead of this attacking automatically, you actually have to take and drag it and attack something. So you can either attack one of these creatures, uh, so if I would attack this, this would take my 3-2 my 
guy, this little Sorcerer's Apprentice, would take one damage, so it would then be a 3-1. If I attack his face, it would just reduce his health down to three, no block meter, of course. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna attack this one. Uh, so now, this one died, took three damage, this is a 3-1, very simple. And then you can attack one time per turn, then you end your turn, your next turn you'll be able to attack with this again. Uh, another thing that to know about Hearthstone that's uh, actually very unique, does not exist at all in Plans for Zombies Heroes, are these uh, sort of signature powers that each hero has. The mages is the hero power at cost two, uh, so we definitely have three, uh, three this turn, so we can definitely use that. Um, it just says deal one damage. This is actually a very effective uh, trick for getting rid of little minions like this. So we're actually going to take this and drag it over here. And you're dead. Uh, we still have one left. We're probably going to want to hold on to our Frostbolt to take out. This is three damage to a character and freeze it. We could go face with this. It's much better to use this on a minion. So you just press end turn and then he'll make his play. Uh, if he plays a weapon, we'll definitely... Uh, okay. His said execute, destroy, damage, minion. Doesn't look familiar at all, does it? Yeah, it's exactly like a thing. Okay, so again, this is just a nice, big, beefy card. Four cost, four attack, five health. Great card to play, etc. Again, there's no lane, so you pick if you're attacking a guy or you're attacking a uh, the face. Now, this is a great example. I'm really happy you played the Tazdingo. This is the Sejin Shieldmaster. This is, again, four cost, three attack, five health. Um, and it is Taunt. So taunt means right now, I actually don't have the option of going face. If I try to attack my opponent's face, it says the minion with taunt is in the way. Whenever you have the minion with taunt, it says taunt also has like a little shield around it. Uh, these ones have to die before you're able to attack any other minions without taunt or your opponent's face. Uh, so we have several ways of getting rid of this. I could just attack the Yeti right into here. Better is to use this card. Uh, it's polymorph. It's very much like Godify. You play this and it turns into a little sheep. Bah! And then we're going to go, instead of attacking this, it's only a 1-1. One, one. It could be it's good to take this out instead, just for example's sake. I'm going to go face! Every single hero has a different power. The uh, the hero power, let's say, of the uh, warrior, for example, is uh, gain to armor. And, you know, that will protect, they'll add basically add armor onto your health. And uh, it'll also, so there's some things if he has a lot of armor that he'll have actually some ab new abilities or some tricks uh, spells that he plays that does damage equal to the amount of armor he currently has on, etc. Um, so, and our turn. Keep on going. I don't want here. He's just armored up. You see, can he have a little armor thing? Your charge minions have plus one attack. Okay. And uh, his Dr. Boom. This is a really powerful late game card. Maybe I'll just finish up this game real quick. This shouldn't be too hard. Now we're going to play the Acidic Swampoos, Acidic Swampoos, and we will blast this guy. So again, these are just going to be 3-2s. It's all good. Nice card. It's a 7-2. Probably Frostbolt that. So this card says whenever this minion takes damage, gain 3 attack. Uh, so we were, we're actually going to want to take this off the field, I guess. We could just play Dr. Boom. Uh, I think I'm going to remove this, so we're going to hit it with this. Uh, it's only a 2 attack, so it's a 4-1. It actually gained attack since it took damage, but we can easily move it with Mr. Frostbolt. Let's draw some cards. See what we get. Draw two cards! It's exactly like Flourish. This goes face, and this goes face. Idea is, of course, get him down to 0 health. He's at 23, and we obviously have this game very much under control. He's a nice late game card, too. Gruel. At the end of each turn, gain 1-1, one, one, so this will definitely grow and grow. Don't mess with Tusker. Give a friendly minion charge. It can't attack heroes this turn, so it's going to charge that into here. That was an exception. Charge means that you're able to attack the turn that it's played. Usually it doesn't attack that turn. You have to wait till the next turn. He gave that charge, which enabled it to basically wake up from its slumber. Uh, so we're going to play Gruul. And these two really don't trade well, so we'll just hit him right in the face. Face is the place. I'm going to get into some Plants vs. Zombies Heroes gameplay when I'm done with this game, but we should be done pretty quickly here. Alright. Well, here's a nice trick called Flame Strike. This does 4 damage to each enemy minion, so... Shabang! Uh, we'll run this in, blast him in the face, and hit him with our Gruel. Should have lethal next turn, unless he plays a taunt, but then we'll actually just polymorph that one. 
This has charge. This is a minion that has charge, so you can actually run this in. It doesn't sleep when he plays it. You can attack with it right away. Typically, the charge and the taunt minions have lower stats, so you just have to balance. Do I want to go with the better cards, or do I want to go with the ones with taunt and charge, since they'll give you somewhat of an advantage? And it looks like we're gonna win! Gonna win! We'll play Dr. Boom for no reason! He's a 7-7 seven, seven and he makes two little boom bots. These explode and deal 1-4 to four damage. Don't worry about this complicated card. Basically, he has 9 health, 2 armor, and I'm right in the face! And that's a basic game of Hearthstone for you. It's obviously the cards I use. Try to use very simple cards. Uh, this time with very simple abilities, there are some with very complicated abilities, and you know, you live you live and you learn. You play through a card game and you, uh, you figure it out. So one topic that a lot of people ask me about, and I've really received this question a lot of times, uh, what is more free to play? If you're a free to play player, you don't have all the hundreds of dollars to be spending on a trading card game, what should I go for? Should I be playing Plants for Zombies Heroes or Hearthstone? Which is more free to play in which aspects? I'm really the answer is it depends how you want to play and what your goal is. Uh, if you're trying to get all of the cards in the game, and that is one of your goals, and have access to just everything, I would say Plants vs. Zombies Heroes is definitely more free to play, just because there's much fewer cards. Hearthstone has been around for a long time. I can go really quickly into the collection here, but there are, I don't, I haven't even counted, but there are so many, so many cards in Hearthstone that are just coming out and out and out, so it really is very difficult to um, get to the, you know, really have the entire collection. But on the other hand, there are a lot of things in Hearthstone that really make it available uh, in a way better than Plants vs. Zombies Heroes for two free uh, for free to play players. In Hearthstone, there is a mode called Arena Mode. Uh, in Arena, you basically draft cards. Uh, we can pay for it now. I can show you basically how this starts. Uh, pay 150 gold, which you get gold again from your daily quest, and you're able to actually now choose your hero, and you're always going to be presented with a choice of three cards, you're going to be selecting one at a time, and actually create a 30 card deck that way. This is probably the most free to play uh, way to play Hearthstone, uh, basically with the rewards that you get from winning an arena after you get decently good at it uh, plus your daily quest which you get a pretty good amount of gold also from your daily quest this is our quest log uh, we get 140 just from these these two days quests alone so uh, that is really the best way to play free to play if you're really actually good at it uh, you can just play arena indefinitely because every single arena will give you at least another 150 gold uh, to go ahead and play the next one um, so this is again a really really great for free to play players there also are the solo adventures you can play against uh, I guess single player against the computer you have that very similar um, it's very similar to PvZ Heroes you can play just a uh, single player mode also uh, play mode so there is a difference in uh, Hearthstone they introduced a thing called standard uh, it's actually this little button over here standard and wild Standard basically means that you can only use the very basic cards in the game from the basic set and then the last year worth of cards. So uh, if a person really wants to get right now into Hearthstone for the first time, uh, you can you can really just start collecting the new you know last year worth of cards. You don't have to worry about the ones that came out last year and the year before and the year before. And uh, between that and the basic cards, be able to make a pretty decent deck. You can really play ranked mode uh, very well. Uh, in Hearthstone, even if you're a very low rank, let's say for example, you can see up here I'm actually rank um, 17, which is not a very high rank. You're always going to be ranked with someone, if I'm playing ranked on 17, I'm always going to be against someone who's either ranked 17, 16, one above me or one below me, 16 would be above me, and 18 would be uh, below me. Lower numbers are, are better in, uh, in Hearthstone. So it, it actually is easier in that sense to play ranked mode because you're not going to be matched up like in PvZ Heroes against someone who is um, Ultimate League uh, and stuff like that. Another mode which I will show you actually soon is the Tavern Brawl. The Tavern Brawl is very similar to the Daily Challenges. There's actually one of these a week. It's not available on Mondays and Tuesdays, but Wednesday through Sunday uh, there are Tavern Brawls. I'll show you maybe a little bit about that. And that again is another uh, free-to-play mode. It's usually a very wacky thing. Instead of playing against the computer, you're usually playing against uh, a real-life opponent. Sometimes they'll just give you both random decks to fight it out with. Sometimes you build your own deck, but uh, has special conditions in how you can build it, or there's special game rules. Uh, I really do like the Tavern Brawls much better than the Daily Challenges and PvZ Heroes. First of all, because you're playing against real people, it's not against some stupid AI. And uh, second of all, you can, you're usually being able to either make your own deck 
uh, or being given a deck that's actually very fun to play with. The preset decks they give you are really, really good, as opposed to the ones in uh, in Flea VZ Heroes. We, of, of course, always are complaining about the strategy decks. Anyway, guys, those are the basic differences between Plans for Zombies, Heroes, and Hearthstone. I absolutely love both of these games. I really plan on streaming... Uh, Plan for Zombies Heroes during the day streams, that's at 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, and Hearthstone uh, during the evening ones, that's, that'll be at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. I really plan on, you know, doing both of these games really strong. If you only know about one of these games, I would definitely suggest trying to uh, check out the other one. They're very similar, and I really do enjoy the, uh, actually really the differences between the two. So, of course, both of these games are free to download, so go ahead, download, try it. They both have very good tutorials, and uh, if you, again, if you play one of these games, it's going to be easy to get into the other one. Anyway, guys, that is a short tutorial on the difference between PVZ Heroes and Hearthstone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you can join us both for the PVZ Heroes streams and the Hearthstone streams. Peace. Subscribe.